Boing. Let's take a look at live previews. Please note that this tutorial was created on an iPad Pro using Animation Pro version 1.6. Your screens may look a little different. For the most part, Animation Pro will try to display a true representation or live preview of each frame as you animate. In this example, I have a single figure with 15 clones, each of which has been tinted, highlighted, accented, outlined and blurred. Camera depth of field has also been applied such that the parent figure appears more blurred than each of its clones. And, as you can see, all of those effects are presented as live previews whilst I animate. But complex scenes like this, with a lot of effects, can really slow Animation Pro down. If, for example, I select the next frame in the animation, it will take Animation Pro quite some time to present it and then update each of the figures. Now most professional animators that I know would prefer to animate quickly versus seeing such an exact representation of each frame all of the time. So Animation Pro 1.6 now allows the live previews of its effects, that is, those effects that don't impact the geometry of figures, to be individually turned on or off whilst animating. This can be done by toggling the six buttons at the bottom of the options menu as shown. And now that I have all of the effects turned off, you will see that it's much quicker moving from frame to frame. But please use this feature with caution. When an effect is turned off, it will not be captured in the film strip at the bottom of the screen. And because these film strip images are used for the scrubbing preview, quick previews, onion skins, bookmark images, and assorted frame selection popovers, you will see some very strange results if you save different frames with different effects turned on and off. So I strongly recommend that you make your selections at the start of a new project and leave them alone thereafter. Furthermore, with a given effect turned off, you will not see any further changes made to that effect until you preview your frame or export your animation. And that's why a preview button has now been included at the top of the figure inspector, the item adjustment screen, and the camera adjustment screen. Finally, some animators also like to frequently export their animations to see how they're progressing. So version 1.6 of Animation Pro also allows effects to be individually turned on or off whilst exporting. So if you'd simply like to produce a quick export to see how, for example, your figures are moving, please turn off one or more of the effects at the bottom of the export popover as shown. I hope you found that as informative as I did. Thanks for watching.